knock out several recipes here with the blueberries that we have. So I washed the blueberries, they're ready to go. And the first thing is a measuring cup. I don't have a measuring cup. Let me go get a measuring cup. But I just wanna show you what you can do with some extra fruit on hand that you can do several different ways from one recipe. So I'm gonna start with two cups of blueberries. And I still see a few stems. I'm a stickler about stems in here. Put them in a stock pot like this. Small, doesn't have to be big. And then I'm gonna do one cup of white sugar. So now we've added our one cup of white sugar. Now, if I'm just working with blueberries, I'm ready to go to the stove and simmer this and bring it to a boil. We're really just trying to melt the sugar and have the blueberries kind of explode in there and break it down a little bit. Now, if I wanted to do the jalapeno, this is where I would just roughly cut big chunks of jalapeno We're if gonna I'm gonna make a syrup. syrup. We can do a syrup. We can do a pie filling with this recipe. The pie filling doesn't require us running it through a sieve. So if we're doing a pie filling, we're gonna have the whole blueberries and we're gonna simmer this. If we're gonna add the jalapenos, we might wanna do chopped fine. If so if we're gonna make a pie filling with jalapenos, we wanna chop the jalapenos fine, just the jalapeno themselves, no seeds. Now if we're gonna make a syrup, we could just roughly cut the jalapenos if we're adding that. Roughly cut big chunks because we're gonna put it through a mesh sieve and we just want the juice for the syrup. So those are two recipes that we can make with leftover fruit that we need to do something with. We could can both of those. We could water bath can those. We could freeze them. And I wanna show you what I do with the syrup. Oh, this one looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a half a cup of blueberry jalapeno syrup. I try to freeze them flat, but sometimes that doesn't work out well. I'll freeze it and then I stack them in the door of our upright freezer. And this is excellent to add to lemonade. If you're having family or friends over, add it to powdered lemonade. Looks like homemade, you can call it homemade and it's really yummy. You can do the blueberry jalapeno or just the blueberry syrup. You can also, I make homemade frozen yogurt with this and I'll give you that recipe as well. So I already have it done. I try to keep several bags in the freezer so there's not that extra work. If we wanna make frozen yogurt for tomorrow, I just freeze the thing. I've got the ingredients and throw it in because I've already spent the time making this ahead. So this is one of those things that making ahead gives you lots of different options when you're in a hurry. So we are going to simmer this on the stove and come back to our two different recipes. Okay, I hear this bubbling, so I'm gonna turn this down a little bit to not burn it. But what we're wanting to do is melt the sugar and have those blueberries kind of burst. See how they're bursting? That's what we want. So at this point, we can see the sugar has melted and we want to bring this to a boil. That's what we need to do. We wanna bring it to a boil and then let it simmer. So our blueberries have boiled. They're all bursting and we've got a lot of juice. So we are gonna let this sit and cool before we mess We're with it. We're ready to work with the blueberry syrup. I simmered on the stove. Remember we have two cups of blueberries with a cup of sugar. And I let that boil and then simmer for 20 minutes. We made a blueberry pie filling. We could do this from this point, but I want to make a blueberry syrup. So 
I'm gonna take a fine mesh strainer, and I like this one because it's versatile and I can use it for so many different things, and it will fit over my bowls. And that's important that it fits over the bowl so that I can get it in the bowl. I like this bowl because it has a pouring spout if I'm working with liquids. And what we're gonna do Our is just pour on top. And I wanna make sure I get all that gooey, yummy blueberries in there. Scrape the pan out, get it in there. Okay. Then it's just a matter of mashing it down. We have a lot of liquid, so I'm just gonna mash it and you can see it straining into the bowl. Now you could let it sit if you wanted to. It's, it's just easier to go ahead and get it done and mash it. So we're gonna take a few minutes and mash this down. Okay, so I'm gonna scrape the bottom of my sieve, sifter, because look at a lot of that juice is stuck on there. And we want all of that. We don't want to waste any of it. Nope. Now I could can this as well. I could water bath can this if I wanted to. And I will probably do that this season. Uh, but right now uh, I have a little bit of room where I can stack some in the freezer. And hopefully <laughs> we'll be able to have our classes again once we get out of this stay at home order. And I like to have the lemonade for the kids when they come for a class here out in the yard. And so I'll have that all ready to go. I like to store it, if I'm gonna do a syrup for lemonade or whatever, it's easiest for me to store them in Ziploc bags in the freezer because I can freeze them, lay them flat, and then I can stack them. I have an upright or side-by-side -side refrigerator in the kitchen which you know those the freezer space is not good so I try to keep what we're using um, in there in different layers and what I'm working with and then our big upright freezer in the laundry room where we keep our venison and elk a lot of times there's not a lot of space if we've just filled it with meat so I like to be compact and I, I do try to keep my fruits and things that I've packaged myself over in that freezer because I'm not going to need it all the time. So that's always a challenge on where I want to put stuff for later, but I do like having things ready to go for later. So having a homestead, you know, our suburban homestead doesn't mean I'm full on canning and doing all those kinds of things. I do that intermittently uh, as I go if I have bulk of something extra or if we have something left over that I'm going to find a way to extend it either by freezing it or making something and doing and it another what way. What I'm going to do is I like to do it in a half a cup or three quarters of a cup at a time. So I've already got my little measure cup out and I'm going to two thirds maybe. There we go. Two thirds of a cup. And I'm just going to pour this directly into my Ziploc bag. Okay, so we've got one Ziploc bag done, and I'll set that aside. And I'm not sure, I'd like to get three out of here, but I'm not sure that I can. No. So I've just got another two thirds of a cup out of here. Pour that into the Ziploc. And I want to get all the air out of it, okay? Seal it. Because we definitely do not want, and make sure it double, oh, oh, that one wasn't done. 
because we do not want sticky blueberry <laughs> syrup all in the bottom of my freezer for sure. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do now is I've got enough. I've got a little bit left here. And this is actually what I use to do the frozen yogurt. These are one of the cups that I use to put the frozen yogurt in. So I'm, I'm gonna take this leftover pulp and I'm gonna shove it down in here. Look at there, it's just enough. And I'll label it. I'll stick it in the freezer. Uh, these are just disposable uh, Gladware, like a take and toss, but I don't toss unless I give it away. <laughs> and uh, we're just gonna stick this in the freezer. I'll put a little label on it so I know what it is. And this is ready to go the next time I wanna make the blueberry frozen yogurt, or I could throw it in a, a, a cake for extra for a pie, for a quick bread, and this really would have been thrown out, but please don't throw it out. Please find some use for it. So what we've done with our two cups of blueberries is we've made two packages of blueberry syrup, and then we have the pulp left for another use. And you know, we, we would just eat blueberries all day long, but if you've got some that are gonna go bad if you don't eat them, these are some quick things to do to preserve it and extend that life and then have something later on when you're in a hurry. Uh, you haven't had time to get to the store, you have people coming over, you have kids coming over, and I they love lemonade. And I do freeze lemon juice from the trees, but oftentimes I'll keep the powdered stuff, that's my secret is I don't do everything from scratch. I use a little bit of this and that and add it in with my homemade and to me, that makes it work and everybody loves it. So find ways that you can make some shortcuts here and there with homemade and store-bought and pre-made and make it all into your own for some homemade goodness. <laughs>